Hey guys, so welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have the new Citrus Punch Palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics in my stash today. This little beauty drops on May the 12th at 3 p.m. CST and it's going to retail for $45, but I finally have an affiliate code with uh, Simply Posh Cosmetics. My code Steph will give you 10% off of your order on anything you want to pick up at Simply Posh Cosmetics. I definitely recommend their palettes. The This brand is from the Rio Grande Valley, from the deep part of South Texas where I live. So I am very happy to always support Simply Posh Cosmetics. Let me give you a quick peek as to what this palette looks like. I'm going to be creating three looks. I'll start off with showing you guys some swatches and then we'll get into the looks. If you guys want to see this palette in action, keep on watching. So here's what the color story looks like. This is definitely an orange, green, pink moment. I mean, if this doesn't scream summertime, I don't know what does. This is just like a beach party, a pool party, and I cannot wait to go to the beach. I'm actually heading to the beach in a couple days. I am so excited. But this palette contains 18 mattes and six duochrome shadows. I will say that Simply Posh Cosmetics has a very easy to work with formula and I do recommend using a glitter primer for the duochromes that will just help the duochromes adhere better to the lid. Now I've already primed my eyes with my favorite eyeshadow primer of the moment which is the one from Sugar Drizzle and I do have a code with Sugar Drizzle. It is step 10 and that will give you 10% off of your order anything you want to pick up over there. Let's get started with look number one. So guys, I've had my face and makeup on like all day. This is going on 12 hours of wear. I was wear testing the new Moira powder foundation and I was also doing a concealer combat with the new Tarte Radiant Shape Tape Concealer versus the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. So that's what I have going on under each eye. You guys will see the powder foundation review is already up, but I think this video will go up, the one you're watching right now will go up before the concealer combat or they might go up the same day. I don't know, but Stay tuned, I have a lot of content coming up. Okay, so where do we wanna start first? I'm all about green, like I'm always down for starting with green shadow, but I'm also loving these yellows. I kinda think I wanna do like a bright yellow inner corner. So I think I'm gonna start with this one right here. This shade is called Fizz. And I'm taking Fizz on a Game Beauty E01. Now, if you really want to make these shadows pop, and maybe that's something I'll do in one of the other looks, lay down a white base because these are really bright, fun shades. And if you lay down a white base, they're really going to be intensified. Now I'm going to go into this pink shade and I'm going to use an It's Bell Cosmetics E6 brush. The shade is called Grapefruit. I'm going to start placing that right in here and I'm also going to blend it outwards. Now on a What's Up Beauty R108, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called uh, Blood Orange. I'm gonna use this to deepen up the outer corner. Now probably, actually no, I don't think I'm gonna drag it down to the lower lash line. I'm just gonna really smoke it out out here. Now this could very well be an all matte look pretty is that looking but I want to play with some of these duochromes now I'm going to use a little bit of NYX glitter primer and I'm just going to put it right here in the center I want to leave the inner corner I think with that matte yellow on it I'm using a Morphe M213 just to apply right here now let's try the green the green is called sour so pretty but it's showing up like it's taking on the colors underneath it 
definitely has gold shift to it. Okay. Ooh, we got a look. We got a look going on. I want to use the shade Lime for the lower lash line. And I'm taking a Lime on a What's Up Beauty R107. The What's Up Beauty brushes are natural hair brushes, and these are new to their line. The ones I'm using, they're an extension to their like core brush line. I think we definitely have a look. I am going to put some lashes on just because, again, I've had this face and makeup on all day, including the mascara. So I think my lashes just need a little pick-me-up. I'm going to do finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay, guys, so here's the completed look number one with Citrus Punch. What do you guys think? The lashes I'm wearing are from BK Beauty and Risa Does Makeup, the collaboration, and they are the stiletto lashes. Uh, mascara I'll be using in today's video is from Tower 28, and I did tightline a little bit on the top lash line with this uh, eyeliner from Sugar Drizzle, and for the lower waterline, I went in with this one from Moira. This is their gel eyeliner. It's a statement gel liner, and it's in the shade. 08 line. I love the way this look turned out. I love that yellow inner corner and of course green, one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. But um, I think this is such a fun palette so far working with it. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look number two, I want to do, let's see, let's do something orange. I think what I want to do is I want to pack I want to pack this orange all over the lid and then maybe use this one. I know these are kind of similar to one another, but maybe use this one to blend out the crease a little bit with. Let's try that. And I feel like I need to deepen stuff up a little bit. I might go in with the shade or I might not. I might just use a shimmer. We can keep this kind of like a lighter look, but I'm going to start here. This one is called orange and I'm taking the shade orange on a refer 02 which I believe Refer might still be having their 40% off site wide sale. So if they are, I'll have the details either in a pin comment or the description box so you can take advantage of that. I am loving, well, aside from the brushes, but I am loving their skincare. Their skincare is really good. I definitely recommend the Essence. The Essence comes in a pump. It is just so, so handy. And, um, I love the moisturizer and I use the cleanser. I actually used the cleanser this morning. I'm just, I'm just loving everything that they're doing. They're, they're, they're going in the right direction. And of course, whenever they have these amazing sales, you got to take advantage of them. Okay. So this shade is very pigmented. I'm liking the way it's going on. Now I'm going to take a small blending brush and I'm going to go into um clementine which is the lighter orange and i'm using a singe beauty e05 i love these orange shades and i did wear orange on purpose today actually i have I've had this shirt for a very long time and I've just, I don't think I've ever worn it. I got it from Shein and it's been hanging in the closet. I forget about it. It's because I like to wear long sleeve to work because it gets cold. And um, I mean, I can always throw a blazer on with it, but I just forget. Okay. Love it. Love the pigmentation. Now let's do, we're going to, we're going to do something fun on the lid let's do this shade the shade right here this one is called uh flavor and again i'm gonna lay down some nyx primer first this time i'm using the morphe m124 actually i think we can do two different shades we'll do two different shades up here okay so i'm gonna go in with flavorful first and i'm gonna focus that on the outer half And now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Tangy. So I'm using the same brush. I'm just flipping it to the other side and I am gonna spray it, or I did spray it with some MAC Fix Plus.
I love it. It's so, so pretty. This has like a green shift to it. Look at that. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's do punch right here for the lower lash line. I'm going to use a BK A504 for that shade. Now for the inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to do this shade right here. This one is called Tang Tangerine. I'm taking Tangerine on a damp What's a Beauty R111. Okay, guys, I am going to do some finishing touches off camera. Ooh, I love that. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay, guys, here's the completed look number two. I love it. I love it. I think this, is it my favorite? I don't know. It's hard to top green over here, but I love the way the look turned out. I added the other lash, touched up my mascara. For the lower waterline, I went in with this one from House Labs. It is their Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner. It's a matte, uh, no, it's a magenta shimmer liner. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called, Magenta Shimmer. I love the way both of these looks turned out. I am going to take some quick pictures and then... Oh my God, what look am I going to remove? I don't know. I don't know which look I'm going to remove. I'm going to have to remove one of them and I'll be right back and we'll start creating the third and final look. All right, let's start working on look number three. Um, what do I feel like doing? I think we need to work with the pinks because I haven't really worked with these pinks. So I think I'm going to start here with this one. This one is called Squeeze. And I'm taking Squeeze on a Singe E03. I love how these matte shades are blending out. No issues there at all. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Zest, and I'm using a Singe E02. Now, on a BK209, I think I want to try the shade called Lemon. Put that right down here. Maybe we'll leave this as an all matte look and maybe just do a shimmer for the inner corner. What do you guys think? How easy that was. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. For the lower lash line, I'm trying to see like which matte shades I haven't used yet. I actually feel like I've used all of the matte shades already. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to go a little deeper on the lower lash line and I'm going to go in with this shade. This is the deepest shade in the palette. It's called Blood Orange. And I'm using the What's Up Beauty R107. Actually, maybe we can do two different shades. I'll focus this on the outer half and we'll do something different for the inner half. I'm going to go back in with Squeeze. Focus that right in here. Run it a little bit underneath blood orange. Now I think I'm going to try Tasty. These are the only two I think that I haven't used, Flavorful and Tropical. But they might be a little too dark for the inner corner. I'm going to try Tasty. I'm going to see what, what Tasty does. Taking that on a damp rougher 03. I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to pick up Tropical. Tropical is this one right here. I'm going to do that down here. OK, 
Hey guys, I'm going to take care of finishing touches off camera and I'll be right back to show you this third and final look with the Citrus Punch palette. Okay guys, here's the completed look number three. I added yellow eyeliner and it is one of the new ones from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 inks eyeliner and the shade I have on is Mucho Mucho. And then for the lower waterline, I went in with a NYX Epic Wear liner in the shade Cosmic Yellow. I love it. All matte and just a little bit of sparkle on the inner corner. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I will share with you guys my final thoughts on the Simply Posh Cosmetics Citrus Punch Palette. So after creating three looks with Citrus Punch, I think Simply Posh has another winner on their hands. I love the cover art. Like how juicy does this look? Doesn't this make you just want to have a nice citrus cocktail, sit by the beach, sit by the pool, and just enjoy the sunshine? I mean, those are the vibes that I'm getting from this palette. We open it up, you do get a mirror, and then these are your shadows. So guys, there are 18 shades total in this palette. I messed up earlier. I think I said there were 18 matte shades. There are 12 matte shades and six duochrome shadows. This is a beautiful springtime color story. Don't be intimidated by all the color. You can take this column by column and create a look that way. Or you can just use, do like a little quadrant right here, right here. Um, but just approach it from the standpoint of just having fun with makeup and just mixing around all of the palette because I promise you all of these shades are going to work well together. The green is going to pair perfectly with the pink. Uh, the orange is going to pair perfectly with the green or with the yellow. This is going to be the darkest shade in the palette. And so you can use it to deepen up the looks. Um, and of course, if you want to deepen them up even more, then bring in some of your favorite matte shadows from your other favorite indie brands. No problems there. I think the duo chromes are beautiful. I like to use the NYX glitter primer for them. Or you can just spray your brush with some setting spray and apply them that way. I thought the mattes blended out beautifully. This is a very user-friendly palette as far as the quality of the shadows. Like they're not overly pigmented. They're just the right amount of pigment. It kind of reminds me of the Artitude Cosmetics Man Eater Untamed palette. Those mattes that's the vibe I'm getting with these mattes um, that are in this particular palette. I just, I had so much fun working with it. I love colorful makeup. I love this color story. I am so ready for vacation. This palette might be making its way with me to the Turks and Caicos next month. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But thank you Simply Posh Cosmetics for sending this palette my way. If you want to get your hands on this palette, you most definitely can on May the 12th at 3 p.m. CS Tea. It retails for $45 and you can use my affiliate code Steph to take 10% off of your order. I hope you guys pick it up. Let me know what you thought of the looks. Which looks were your favorites? Are you team one, two, three, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Super important that we drink our water and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.